welcome to the Newton Series PTL interviews. I'm here with Vitaly Gridnev with the Sahara Project. Um, Vitaly, can you introduce yourself and give us a little bit about your OpenStack background? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm Vitaly Gridnev and I'm working with Marantis, a software engineer working at Saratov office. So I'm project technical lead of OpenStack data processing, codenamed Sahara, and I'm working uh, with, Mer with Marantis since killer release and with OpenStack also since killer release. Oh, June, great. I mean. Oh, great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the Sahara project and what it does? Uh, Sahara project, uh, the general aim of the Sahara project is to provide simple way to deploy open uh, deploy Hadoop clusters on top of the OpenStack. So right now we can uh, uh, create several templates and cre create Hadoop clusters in a single click and then you can perform uh, the Elastic Data Processing application on top of these clusters. Um, so that is the general aim of the Sahara. Great, cool. Um, so at the Austin Design Summit, what were some of the hot topics with the Sahara team and what were some of the decisions and outcomes from those discussions? Well, there were several hot topics on the, on the Austin Summit. First of all, we discussed several API improvements that we really need to do in this cycle and, uh, and also to implement a new version of API called API v2. So our plan to um, um, to implement several changes to that and make that stable so that other folk, folks can try that uh, and also try to support that in Sahara client also. The another hot topic was the image generation improvement that right now we have uh, several uh, and uh, work required before launching the cluster so that users need to generate images and something like that. So we go into uh, write several recipes for validation images and also try to create a simple way to uh, generate images for current OpenStack deployment. And also there are several topics regarding the GDP improvements, Elastic Data Processing, I mean, and also about security in the Sahara, in the Sahara clusters. Great. Were any of those discussions or topics uh, the result of identifying operator or user needs? And can you kind of discuss how you found out about those needs and then how that drove um, decision making within the Sahara team? So the general, we, the general, uh, outcome for users that sometimes it's uh, really too hard to understand from Sahara uh, what what is going on and so we uh, trying to make that changes uh, to improve that so and also sometimes uh, there are some problems with managing and preparing Hadoop cluster so that is also thing that we going to do. Great, awesome. Um, and what are the top three priorities for kind of new features or enhancements that the Sahara team are working on? So the general uh, top three, I think that uh, first of all, is the image generation improvement, I guess, uh, as I said previously, and also regarding the security for the clusters, uh, several EDP improvements, elastic data processing, and uh, finally, API, as I said. Great. Is, do you think about um, those improvements in terms of any of the kind of common themes we hear across OpenStack, like scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, or interoperability? And can you kind of describe how those um, improvements fit into the themes? So I think that uh, for us, um, the manageability th theme uh, will touch us in this size, I, I think that um, many changes we always do to improvement, to UI improvements and something like that. Um, and um, we, almost everything is okay with scalability for 
Sahara right now. By the way, uh, maybe we will do some things uh, in Newton, or not Newton, I mean a Kata. Um, and probably some kinds of resiliency also will be done in a Kata maybe, I guess. Great, so um, you mentioned the themes for resiliency and uh, scalability in Okada. Any kind of um, foreshadowing of what, what those topics might be, what we might look to expect from the Sahara project in the Okada cycle? So I guess that uh, in Okada will be some kind of Ichi for deploying the cluster. So right now, if uh, Sahara will probably die during the, during the provisioning cluster, there is no way to restore that cluster and uh, we are going to make some several changes, I guess, in Akata to improve that. Awesome. Well, this was very helpful and informative. I appreciate your time today and um, especially your leadership on the Sahara project. Okay, great. 